Hello everyone, welcome back to this Ross question and answer and today we are going to answer this question that has been posted a couple of days ago about having a problem when launching a robot model so this guy has a problem that he is providing this launch file where he spawns a model of a robot that this model is being included into this file urdf file and the urdf file is provided here so uh, this guy is getting a problem where the the message that he's getting is failure model name already exists so let's find what is happening here so for that to answer this question let's go to the raw development studio and sign in here so already sign in with my uh, username and then I'm going to do is just create a new project so in order to put all the code etc and let's do let's call it for example respawn problem okay has been created it is here and now let's launch it and yeah so here we go and in a few seconds we'll have the empty project um, created and opened here it is here it is opening so here it is my project that is empty with uh, a small package created for a simulation that it just launches an empty simulation just in case that you need a simulation so it will appear here and the notebook today we are not going to use it so I'm going to hide it so we'll have more space great so while the simulation is booting uh, let's go again back to the question and it says that it has a launch file and then in a package that is called hobo description and then inside there there is a urdf directory that contains this urdf file okay so let's create that here already the simulation empty is is here but we don't use now let's create the package first so for that we go to the calcium workspace source and this space is the one that is shown here you see this source corresponds to this source directory great we have the simulation gazebo package that one that actually we don't need it so i can delete it or just leave it there whatever you want great so now it's not there anymore let's create this package catkin uh, create the package hobo description great now it should appear here should when it refreshes should appear here yes here it is and we have an empty package for this we need the urdf directory where we are going to put a urdf description and also the launch directory where we are going to put this guy's uh, launch file okay let's create here the launch file it's a new file let, let me call it for example main dot launch create and i'm going to copy the code that he has put here so just let me show you that he has put some small mistake here by not including into the code everything the launch closing tag so i'm going to include it manually so here it is and then let's close it launch great and save now on the urdf let's put the urdf file and then it should be called as it is explained here hobo description urdf so let's call it like this hobo description dot urdf and here i'm going to copy all the code here because it's the code of the urdf model that he has created great so paste and here it is here we have the model now if we have this here we can try to launch it 
and make it appear here on the simulation and see what's happening. Okay, so first thing is that we are going to try to spawn directly this model and see what happens, okay, where, if there is any problem. So for spawning a model from a file, I have the command here. Let me just paste it here on the console and let me explain you. It's calling the gazebo ROS package, it's a spawn model program, and where we specify the file, in this case is hobo description package urds, hobo description urdf. Then we specify that this in format urdf, we indicate a z1, and then the name of the model that we want to spawn there. So if we spawn it, great, successfully spawn the model but we can see nothing here so what is happening here the the message of the console has said also around here was saying uh, what was saying it was saying like a successfully spawn message or ah, okay so it's not shown on the console but on the on the layout of the simulation correct okay so what is happening because i cannot see the model there Oh, let's see if the model is actually there. For that, we can call a service that is called gazebo no, get wall properties. And if we call it, we'll say the model names that are already loaded, the ground plane, and of course, my object, the one that I have launched here. So why is not showing there? Okay, so if you analyze the code, you will see that even if the links are properly configured with vision, visual and collision, it is not providing an inertia part for each link. And that is one of the reasons why the model is not shown there. So we have to include for each link an inertial section. So I'm going to copy one example. This is one example, okay? So I'm not calculating the actual values. I will put a link beneath this video where you can see how to calculate the proper values for your initials for every uh, part of the of the robot. So we need to include this inertial part in all the links that we have. So let's go and add another one here. The inertials are going to be wrong, okay? So it just doesn't matter. It's just to show you that by adding this, you will get the visual on the gazebo simulation shown. And here we have another one. And that's it. So I have added one for each one of the links of the model. So I'm going to save. Save and once it's saved, uh, let me just respawn it again. So I'm going to respawn. Oh, wait, sorry, here. That's it. Instead of calling it my object, I'm going to call it my object 2 because otherwise it will collide with the actual object that is already created there okay so cancel I don't know this message yes file, file saved great so now let's spawn this object and here it is here it is so I have a specified the Z of one that is why the it is it is like floating around and also the simulation is is stopped so you can start it at any point and then it will fall down but here it is so you have it okay so it's shown then that was one of the problems of this guy in the question so he thought that his program was not working because he couldn't see the robot on the simulation for this purpose in order to to make the robot show he thought that this node was crashing, the spawner was crashing, and for that reason he was putting a respawn sentence on the launch of the node as true. 
because of this respawn, he was getting this error. Spawn model failure, model noble hobo already exists. Okay, so what is the, the thing here? The thing is that the spawner was not actually crashing. This spawn node was just spawning the model hobo as described here in the robot description and then finishing its job and dying and that's all but because he has put the respond to true by dying the system will make this spawn URDF node to start it again and by starting again it will try to spawn again the same model with the same model name and because this model was already on the simulation with that name then it will show this failure error already it exists so here there were two possible errors one is this respawn that should be set to false and the other one is the lack of inertia in the links that allow you to see the robot so that is the solution for this question and I hope it's understood and in case you have any question please put it there beneath the video also remember that if you like these kind of videos or any other else questions about ROS do not hesitate to subscribe to our channel and click on the on the bell so you will receive the notifications when we publish a new video Thanks a lot. See you around.